Hey there guys and gals, David right here. Uh, I do apologize, I'm going to be looking a lot to my left real quick, but it's just so I can be able to see because I started from scratch with this. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, hook up your Elgato HC60 Pro with your monitor running at 144Hz. Um, basically, everything that you're going to be doing is, you know, downloading the drivers, making sure that you have the right... Um, right software that you're doing this so if you have an amd graphics card you should already have the amd radeon software which is going to help you with this along with windows 10 if you're running windows 10 which i hope you are jesus if you're running a mac then get off this channel <laughs> um i do apologize it's like 4 15 in the morning for me right now and i've been up for 24 hours now so i'm gonna go ahead and help you guys set up your amd graphics card with your Elgato HC60 Pro dual PC setup with 144 hertz. There are a lot of videos out there that will help you out with NVIDIA, but I have not really found a video for AMD to be able to help with getting this set up and getting it set up correctly. So I do have two graphics cards. I have a NVIDIA 1660 Super and I also have a Radeon RX 5600 XT. This also will work with the 5700 XT and all the other classes of the uh, Radeon graphics cards. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying you're here because you're either locked at 60 FPS or 60 refresh rate, um, 60 hertz or 59, 940 hertz or whatever it is. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this application here. And like I said, I'm going to be looking to my right a lot because I can't see. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys the display settings. So right here are the, this is the 27 hertz, uh, 27 inch monitor that I have. This is the monitor that I'm using for my gaming. This is another 27 inch monitor. And then this right here, display four, it's going to be your Elgato. Um, like I said, I can't see, <laughs> so I do apologize. Uh, you can't get to your settings and then Oops. <laughs> so make sure you're in settings. Make sure that you're in graphics. You'll see display one and display two, which is going to be your Elgato capture card. So we're going to go ahead and clone these real quick. So now you guys will be in front of me. Now I can actually look straight. Hopefully. <laughs> Once everything starts jumbling around. Um, you're probably going to have to rearrange your monitors again. And if you're using three monitors that are to three different sizes, I'm going to also show you how to fix those real quick so you select monitor one go ahead and select it to the resolution you need mine is going to be 2560 by 1440 because my monitor that i'm working with my gaming monitor is a 3440 by 1440 so and i'll show you guys that real quick so make sure that the bottom resolution is the same i'm going to do the same thing with this uh resolution here i'm going to switch that over to a 256 uh 2560 by 1440 and that's also going to fix the resolution for the other monitor and that's how you get all of these monitors the same resolution um these two monitors one and two are being used by nvidia while three and four is the uh, radeon graphics card and your elgato hd60 pro um this is for dual pc setup like i said so this is how you're going to be able to do it but like i said if you're on your three and four and you notice that you're locked at 60 or 59 40 and you don't have the drop down like i'm showing here make sure that you're on your display three and if you still don't have the drop down don't worry i'm about to fix that for you right now i do have the drop down and i can't go back i don't know how i can get it to show that i don't have the other resolutions or the hertz refresh rates sorry um so i'm gonna pretend like i'm locked at 60 uh, 60 hertz so back in here in the Radeon software, we're in display. We're on display one, which is my 34 inch monitor being used by the RX 5600 XT, as you can tell. We're gonna go ahead and click on adapt sync compatibility. We're gonna not click on virtual super resolution. We're gonna click on GPU scaling. Your screen is gonna flicker, don't worry, it'll fix itself. So click on GPU scaling. When it comes back, you're going to go ahead and click on integer scaling as well. Make sure that everything else is good. Don't worry about 
clicking on preferred display that's going to screw everything up make sure that this is on vivid gaming this is on 10 pc if your card supports it um and then after that go ahead and click on display 2. you're going to go ahead and not you can't click on amd free sync if even if your uh, monitor supports it don't worry about it it's not going to do anything do not click on virtual super resolution it's not going to do a damn thing besides ruin everything you're going to click on gpu scaling your screen is going to flicker again and it's okay all right and then you're going to click on integer scaling i always click on it because it helps me i don't know why it just it, it just does it helps me i'm also going to click on hdmi hdmi link assurance helps me you don't have to do anything else with the settings below you'll still see here that you're locked at 5940 all right, yeah, 59940 hertz with the Elgato, but you should be able to, in theory, change this to 144 hertz, which your screen is going to flicker again, which is okay. After that, you're going to go ahead and click on Keep Changes. Um, if it does not give you the 144 hertz, you might have done something wrong, but that is what's supposed to help you get your 144 hertz and back on over to your monitor. Um, there is another way that you can be able to do it, if you are still in your display settings just hit your back one until you see the arranged your displays go down here to advanced display settings which i was just there uh, so you don't necessarily need to go back or anything like that click on display adapter properties for display three make sure you're on your main monitor and you can do list all modes and it might not be on here but mine showed up as 3440 by 100, uh, 1440 uh, true color, even though it shows 60 hertz. You can click it if you want, but if you have the drop down arrow, which you should, don't click on that because that'll refresh you back over to 60 hertz and it'll screw everything up. Uh, this is the first installation that you do. Um, try not screwing around, but if you're here on this YouTube video, it means you tried screwing it around and you might need to, to restart your PC and make sure that everything is back to where everything was default. Um, it was a very hard process for me to find this out. Um, I found one video that helped me, but wasn't necessarily spot on. He kind of missed some things, but this video was also created back in like 2008, 2009. Um, this is 2021 and hopefully this will help you out for further on in the future anyone who's looking for this type of video um nvidia real quick i know that if you open up the nvidia control panel uh if you go to um set up multiple displays you can clone here and you can also set everything up the way you need to and then after that i believe you go to change resolution and you can be able to change resolution there if you're using the video um i figure that it help you out but there are so many videos on the video you probably won't even care about this one and it's okay i really don't care i just wanted to help out the people who are looking for amd because it took me forever and a day to at least try and figure this out um if you have any questions comments or anything like that please comment down in the section below i'll be more than happy to help you out um i do try and keep an eye on my comments so if you guys ever need any assistance like that just feel free to message me uh, in the comment section below uh, follow me on Twitter if you want it's David Gray um, twitch.com or twitch.tv forward slash David Gray and you'll be able to get me there other than that I hope that you guys have a wonderful night and keep on gaming guys um, that's pretty much it laters